Welcome to Deadball TV, ladies and gentlemen. This is not a drill. The 2024 Copa America groups are here, and we don't know a damn thing that happened. This is a blind reaction. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments what you think about all the groups. Let us know your thoughts down below about your favorite team, whatever group they're placed in, how you like your chances. Let us know in the comments. Hit subscribe because we're going to do a more flushed out prediction video of the entire Copa America dropping sometime in the next few weeks. I don't want you to miss that. Let's do this. My phone's been on Do Not Disturb for the past probably like three hours. My mother doesn't know where I am. She's freaking out. The ambulance is. I know. She, she keeps texting me. She's like, where is little Connor? <laughs> I said, he's probably face down in a ditch. Are you ready for this? Dude, can you see this? Yeah. Are you ready for this? I'm a little nervous here. We got group A first. I think this is y'all. <laughs> stop, stop. I think this bro, is y'all. Are you ready for All right. this? All right, I'm yeah. scrolling. Oh, whoa. Oh my God. Oh my, oh my God. God. We literally wanted. got a cakewalk. They want us to win it. <laughs> this, this is rigged. Oh, this is God. so rigged. You thought the World no. Cup was rigged? No. The World Cup was now rigged. This right here, we bought this. Yo, we bought this group dude. right here. The AFA is the most wealthy football federation in existence. How y'all keep doing this? Where we is don't the money keep, coming this is from? A, this is an isolated event. We did this. We've done nothing oh else. Oh my god. Okay, dude. First off, y'all got y'all hit the money. You got Peru pod 2. Everybody wanted that. Wild. And you got Chile? I mean, how you feel cuz you kind of bullish on the Chileans. You okay with them in the group? I mean, we're going to get a Peru versus Chile game, which is going to be quite literally a knife fight. There's not going to yes. be a single goal in it, but it's going to be a bloody knife mm -hmm. fight. Mm -hmm. Um and then who's the CONCACAF 5? Is that Canada Jamaica? Let me just let me confirm that. I feel down. cool with this. I wish we got somebody, you know, who was going to challenge us here. I really don't like the idea of playing three games that we're just going to walk through and then potentially getting our ass kicked in knockouts. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. That sounds miserable to me. Yeah, I don't. I feel like every Argent sign, and again, please correct me in the comments if I'm way off here, but. You will live with this. I'll live like, with this, yeah. Completely. Completely. I mean, uh, okay, let, let's say you get Honduras. Who cares? Okay, yeah. you get Costa Rica. Who cares? Yeah, no. I mean, all, all of this is fine. I don't think we might get a tie. We might get one tie. I think yeah. we, we leave this with a minimum of seven points. We leave this group with a minimum of seven points. Um. What I do want to bring wow. up, and I think this is the most interesting sentence that can be said about this group, okay, is Peru versus Chile. Mm -hmm. Maybe not a highly touted, but a rivalry match nonetheless. Huge in AT and T Stadium, Arlington, Texas. <laughs> mm -hmm. Does that not just sound wrong? Does that not sound the wrong? I see Fido Derby is happening in AT and T Arlington. <laughs> yes, dude, that is so bizarre to me. That sounds is, so yeah. wrong. Wow, foul. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I, dude, the I think the craziest thing here is Peru right now are like we could advance. That might be the craziest thing in this group. They're thinking, bro. We insane. we sneak a one nil win in a derby against Chile. You know, keep it respectable against Argentina. Maybe lose two nothing, bro. Peru could be going through. Like that's mental. What do we do yeah, if if a uh, Concacaf five goes through? What do we do? Oh my God, um, Concacaf, Concacaf. Uh, they're the third federation overall in the world, hands down. <laughs> Are we There's sure no five is? Dude, I, I think five no might be Canada, Trinidad, Tobago. I mean, whatever. We'll, we'll we'll maybe get a better idea when we go to the other group. So, I mean, that's Group A. Jesus. I mean, Argentines, y'all would be happy with that. Let's take it on a B. I think. I, guess. I think B is. Damn, is B us or is B the U.S.? Let's check it out. Oh Lord Almighty! <laughs> woo! Woo! Holy Dude. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Mexico might not make it out, baby. Are you no. ready for Ecuador, Venezuela to advance? Dude, we got some games here. Are you ready, dude? Dude, these teams. Ecuador, oh Venezuela, God. advancing. I'm gonna call it. I am. 
not happy with Venezuela as the pot three. And I'm no, really not awful. happy with Jamaica as the pot four either. Yeah. I mean, the only way this is worse is if we had Uruguay. That's the only way yeah. that this is worse. Correct. Um, wow. Wow. We Me- got Jamaica Mexico, first. Jamaica in NRG it's Stadium, Houston, Houston, I think will be huge for you guys. Damn. Um, that's, right. a, that's a home game. A, yep. Yep. That's a home. I mean, this we got Inglewood and Santa Clara. Yeah. I mean, any of those venues are going to be home games for, for the Mexicans. Jamaica has to be a dub, or like first match. Jamaica has Absolutely. to be a dub. Has to if be. You, if you don't win against Jamaica, you don't advance from the group. Correct. Yeah. Dude, oh my God. You know what? This, this group could be draw city. Yeah, it could be draw city. This could be, this could oh. be the worst group in, like the least entertaining group in the entire mm. of, uh, okay. in the entirety of qualifying. Dude, you could be right. I'm going to be real, though. I think the parity here is unbelievable. Mm-hmm. This, this is even as hell. I'm not going to say group of death yet, but, you know, what the odds makers are going to have here, I'm not totally sure. Ecuador will be feeling so good about their chances of making it out. But I, you know what? I'm going to walk that back. They'll be feeling good. They'll be feeling good because they have Mexico as the pot one. They probably didn't want Venezuela as the three. And no. Ecuador-Jamaica is a fascinating matchup that is a fascinating matchup i'm excited for that game i think ecuador's got him pretty soundly but yeah who knows i don't know i'm I'm a little worried here too i mean mexico fans how we feeling about this it it's not it's not great is it (laughs) no it's not great it's not great (laughs) oh it's not great is it no it's bad it's objectively bad I think okay. Check this oh, out. You got it. You got to catch a dub against Jamaica, and then I think it's okay yeah. if you temper yourself by taking the foot off the gas against Venezuela a little bit. But that Ecuador match, I think you guys could sneak away with a one to zero because Ecuador can't really score. Yeah. Um, so you get Edson yeah. to just lock onto Caicedo. Do not move off of that man. Maybe you can pull through with a tie or a one to zero from a fantastic free kick yeah let's <clears throat> let's just have Luis Chavez bail us out yet again in this group that's gonna be a that's gonna be a set set piece city I, I'm gonna say too I think Jamaica are feeling okay about this they're okay with Mexico yeah. being the pot one they've drawn us recently yeah. they'll be feeling yeah. like okay we don't have to play Colombia Uruguay we don't have to play Argentina we get to play Venezuela and Ecuador. I mean, not easy games, but you'll take that. You'll yeah. take the Pantane countries over, uh, you know, Uruguay. I think that might work against them, though, depending on their ego. Like, what scares me about Argentina's yeah. group is that we might take the foot off the gas and then get surprised. Just like Saudi Arabia, just like it happened before, would not be shocked. I don't know if Jamaica sits in that position, but that's a feeling that I'm all too familiar with. It's like, oh, okay. This is a good position. And then you totally bottle it because you didn't set your own expectations to that, you know, or you did set your expectations to that. You didn't just go in like we need nine points. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm nervous for them regarding that. That being said, Leon Bailey scored the winner against Manchester City. He did. He did. I hate that man. I hate him. I hate him. Hate I hate him? him. I hate him. He scores in hate every him? single goal that he he scores in every single game that I do not need him to score in. I put him on my Premier League team. Dry. Dry. Bone dry. Doesn't do anything. The second that he gets up against Manchester City, a, a game that he has no business scoring in, you're just going to come away with that and make yourself a title contender out of nowhere? Don't know. Don't play with me. I'm sick and tired of it. Oh, well, that's fair. I mean, Jamaicans, let us know how you feel about this. Mexicans, same thing. I mean, hell, everybody let us know how you feel about it. This group is wide open. Any two combos here could advance, and I think that makes it fun. Let's take it to Group C. Okay. USA, Uruguay, Panama, Bolivia. Okay. Uruguay is, is obviously very difficult. Should be a loss. But the U.S. should be feeling so damn good about Panama and Bolivia. You think that we got Panama? At home? Yes. At home, yes. I keep if Panama was hosting, no. Yeah, look at that. We're playing at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. 
That's crazy to me. I mean, Bolivia got no prayer here, right? No, Bolivia, right. Bolivia. No. Perdón, queridos. Nada. No, no hay nada. There's no, nothing, no, ain't no. nothing there for you. Move along. Correct. Move along. Uh, Panama. I think Panama's got a chance. This would be such an achievement with Panama. I, I just feel like it, the, the group had to be phenomenal for Panama yeah. to advance. And it's yeah. not. No. It's not as bad it's as it could happening. possibly be. But, I mean, Christensen is the GOAT if they make it out. Yeah. But he ain't. Well. And he won't be. We'll see. We'll see. No, but I, you, man you're right. Yeah. The, the U.S. at home. It's the U.S. at home. I don't know. I could see a 2 nothing, something like that yeah. in the Panama game. Uh, I could also see a really weird 3-2 or something. <sighs> like, just bizarre. Like I'm How do you think Uruguay about, feels about this? I think Uruguay is getting nine points. I think they laughed their ass. They saw this and they said, word. Because mm -hmm. guess what? They can't take their foot off the pedal, but Darwin Nunez is licking his chops. Oh, my God. Ancelotti. He's coming for the all the all time goal scoring record. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he's coming for the golden boot in this tournament. Yes, he is. He is correct. I think honestly, think about it. It's him, Lionel Messi, and what? Di Maria, Julian Alvarez. No, not Di Maria. That'd be crazy. Yeah, maybe not the I golden think... boot. What's what, dude? If he scores in another final, I'm gonna throw up. I would say. I don't know if Diaz is in the golden boot conversation. I'd probably no, say dude, he might be. It's tough. Like the nines here aren't aren't phenomenal across the board. You know what I'm saying? No. No. Like Vinicius? But... No. He's he, the Brazil's just not producing like that right now. Some will say Balogun, but I don't think the US will score enough goals is the problem. Who's our boy? Who's our boy from Venezuela? Rondon? Jefferson? I could see him coming away with like four or five. If Jefferson got five, I'm going to crap my pants. There's no way he gets five at the Copa. You don't think so? A Venezuelan winger getting five goals at the Copa. That's insane. Who is he scoring them against? Mexico. You're going to get a hat trick against us. That's what he needs. No <laughs> chance, Jefferson. No chance. No chance. Um, goddamn shit. Probably Alexis Sanchez has a better chance of getting the golden boot than... Than him just because of I don't know pedigree alone, but okay, yeah, Uruguay probably want nine. U.S. will be looking for a draw and then two wins in this one. Panama, I mean, again, Herculean effort needed to get second here. Um, yeah, in Bolivia, R.I.P. Like they just suck. Bolivia's really not getting a point. Do you think Bolivia scores a goal? Uh, I don't know if Panama, yes, Panama like to concede late and okay. they don't keep a ton of clean sheets. I mean, they drew Guatemala recently, won one then they away, got one. but still. I think they got yeah. one. They score one. I, I could see Panama beating Bolivia like four to two. Like I, I predict a shootout for that game. Really? Okay. Yeah. Because well, yeah. the Bolivians will try. They will try. All right, let's see it. They'll, they'll be thinking like, hey, we can probably beat the Americans. We can probably sneak something here. Historic defeat. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. Hey, I'm just saying from the Bolivian perspective, they're like, we basically are telling us we have to beat the U.S. We'll take yeah. that over Brazil. You know? Yeah. These teams are going to be playing like hell. The U.S. is so lucky to have dodged Chile's group. I was so ready for that to happen. Dude. Why? I, hope I think I said in the happen. prediction, dude, a redraw. <laughs> they're like, hey, I hope this happens. is too easy. This is I too want. Easy. I almost want Chile or to advance second, and I want. I mean, I know the seeding wouldn't take us there, but a United States Chile game. I want to see it happen. I need that vindication. I need it. Well, you'll see. Maybe Chile gets it against you know somebody else. Could be Mexico again. I have no idea. But let's just let's just wrap this up. Let's go to Group D now. Okay, Brazil, Colombia, Paraguay, and either Honduras or Costa Rica. Oh man, that right this there. One, that right there is a group of death. That is a terrifying group. It's tough. It's tough. With Paraguay, you're not going to score for them. And you're not going to score against them. That's that's like one point. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. one point is right there, almost guaranteed. That's almost more. That's almost more certain than the result of the Brazil game, because they're so weird right now. They might show up and give you yeah. four. 
Yeah, they might yeah. just become Brazil out of nowhere. But they, you might also drop two against them. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what to say about Brazil. And Colombia, Colombia is a threat. They're a threat. Absolutely, they're, they're a top four favorite, favorite for this yep. tournament. But we'll see. Like you will see. I wow. don't know that. They might be coming into it pretty hot. I guess we'll have to see. We have a couple more, you know, international windows before then. A lot could change. Like the power rankings could change drastically. We could be talking about Paraguay in four months and be like, they are the most proficient high octane offense in the Americas. I don't think that's going to happen, but I'm just saying, you know, things have turned it around. Look at South Korea. They can score a goal. Now they can't score less than six in a game. I mean, it, you know, sometimes yeah. it happens. Um, I'm going to even argue, y'all can disagree in the comments. I don't think there's a group of death. I'm going to be real going through these. I don't think there's a group of death. I think Mexico's is the most even in terms of like the strength of every single team. Is D a death group? I'm going to say no. Check and this maybe out. I, okay, say it, say it. Check this out. Say it. But I've seen mm -hmm. ties against Paraguay and loses. Two to one against Colombia. Oh shit! What happens there? I think that this, if there is one, this is our group of death. Because okay. what if Colombia? Okay. Ah uh, no, mira, Brazil plays them first. They don't play Colombia until late. I'm thinking, what if the Concacaf six? What is that? Uh, Costa Rica or Honduras? Yep. They come away with a miracle win against somebody, and all of a sudden, Brazil is third place you know with what one point yeah one point then they've got this must win game here for all of a sudden colombia paraguay advance i don't know dude i mean uh brazil's reputation after colombia and paraguay advancing here i mean it it needs to take a significant hit yeah no, it, it's not gonna. It's not gonna happen. I'm just theory crafting here, but I yeah. think if anything, this is the group of death because you can't count on what's gonna happen with Paraguay. Well, you're describing like the disintegration of Brazil as a country. Is what you're <laughs> you're talking political saying. turmoil. It will break yes. off and flow into the ocean. Yes, every separatist, you know, wing is gonna flare up again. It's gonna be crazy. Like there's Why no way. What what is it? Their their situation's not exactly great. What was it last year? We had Bolsonaro that we were talking about. Now everybody's talking shit about Milei. I don't know. Nope. Nobody in South America is doing great right now. Yeah, I mean, point to point to a continent that has a ton of you know highly qualified and moral politicians. I'll wait. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> but no, I'm gonna say there is no group. Of, this is not a group of death. This is not. Paraguay are defensive merchants who cannot score if you put a gun to their head. They couldn't score. Honduras, they're ahead of schedule getting here. And Costa Rica, same thing. They, they're, they, they're ecstatic if they get three points. I mean, I mean ecstatic if they get three points. Colombia and Brazil, they're like saying, hey, let's, let's, you know, let's play each other to a stalemate. I'll see you in the knockouts. That's probably what they're saying to each other here. I don't think it's a group of death. The, I think it's know. the closest thing that we have to it because of okay. Paraguay. Can't score, can't score against. Okay. That's a that's a draw right there. It's a recipe for a draw. But maybe that's my okay. Argentine perspective. CP3. No, that's fair. I'm going to say if there is a group of death, like if I had to declare one, I would say B because it is, I mean, genuinely, pot one through four, all of them are like, we got this. All of them. The Venezuelans think, yep, this is what we wanted. The only ones who are probably a little like, uh, is Mexico. They're probably like, oh, we could have done with Costa Rica. Like, we really could have done with that, you know. They want to Bolivia, you know what I'm saying? They've all got fighting chances. Yeah. I guess when mm -hmm. I think group of death, I'm thinking, like, biggest chance for an upset. Like, what is going to happen? What big team gets left out? Right. Well, I mean, B is group B is lacking – like a true giant. I mean, Mexico is the biggest team here. Not the best, yeah. but the biggest. And them going out in the group stage, I mean, that is a disaster. Would you say it's that they're disaster. in the worst form out of all these teams right now? It's them or Jamaica, right? The worst form. 
But Jamaica's um, just coming off an incredible win. They're coming off an incredible win. I mean, Jamaica probably has the best form on paper for just counting wins, yeah. no context against opponents. Venezuela, they've been they've been very solid. I don't know if they've been like soaring. You know what I mean? Right. In Ecuador, I feel like half the fan base is pissed off. Mm-hmm. Even though they, they are winning, you know, one nothing. Um no, so they're not in the worst form here. I, I don't think I think you could compare the form of Mexico, Ecuador, Venezuela. I really do. And then Jamaica is just hard to gauge because the only decent team they beat is Canada. Yeah, we don't have a sample size here. Right. And, you know, they go through on away goals. Like they lost the first game and then they won. So they split yeah. the difference with Canada. They're not again, they're not sailing here. So I don't know. That's a great that's a great question, though. I wonder what other people think. I mean, in this this ain't a I mean this if Canada get in here, which they probably will, I could see some people saying A as the death group. I really could. I think there's a case to be made for every group but C. I'm going to be honest. And that's not just me hating on the U.S. I think C is the worst group. It is the worst group. Um, what do you think Canada does here? What do I think Canada does here? I think the Canadians have to look at Peru and Chile and say, we can do something. They have the starting 11 to do something. Do they have the depth? Not really. But Peru don't have any depth either. And Chile, not really either. Y'all are the only team who's got five to seven guys on the bench who can be called upon who are game changers. Nobody else really has a single one. Yeah. I, I think Canadians, real talk. They don't like you guys as the pot one. They're not okay with that. They would have preferred no. Mexico. But yeah. they will take Peru and Chile. Canadians, let us know. I feel like y'all feeling okay. You probably like... Okay, so the Americans are like ecstatic, I think. I think the Mexicans are nervous. I'm nervous. I think Canadians will feel a little... Okay, with a pot four, there's no expectations. I would argue they probably feel better than the Mexicans right now. Comment down below if you're Canadian. But I think you're feeling nice. You're feeling nice. You switch Chile and Venezuela, it might be a different story here, but you got Peru and Chile. Like, you can do something there. Look, you can certainly try. Um, Chile's not going to be an easy game. No, no, Chile, no, 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 no. I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we will see. We will see. It'll all come out in the wash. Um, yep. I was just reading on my phone that Argentina has two friendlies in March in the United States. I have no US, idea who that is. Maybe. We're probably going to play. You think you'll play the U.S. Mexico? That would be fire. That I would be so. That would be insane. That will not yeah. happen, but I think that would be insane. I don't know, dude. Think of the money. Y'all oh, play China the money. for the money, bro. You would play Mexico. I was going to I was going to say we're going to play Qatar again. <laughs> that would be wild. That would Guitar, be wild. Argentina, and New York. Like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> oh, my God. It's like, yeah, we're playing Thailand. It's like, why? <laughs> why? Who asked for that? <laughs> Nobody needs that. Nobody. I mean, the Thais would be ecstatic, but. Who um, do you think is going to be? I mean, I can't even imagine. Uh, yeah, USA, Mexico would I probably can. be. USA, Mexico. Ideal. You think it's straight up going to be USA, Mexico? Yes, I do. I think that that feels too good. Like, that, I don't know. Okay. I just don't see you guys wasting your time with, like, Costa Rica. Yeah. I don't see and that You happening. know what? The U.S. is probably trying to capture that messy magic. They're probably paying out the ass to get them here. Dude, think of the ticket prices for U.S. Argentina. Oh, Met, Met, MetLife Stadium. Before he won the World Cup, MetLife Stadium tickets. Minimum 200 it's selling out. I, it, it could be in North Dakota. It's selling out, and the cheapest tickets can be one eighty. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I would say probably more than that. Significant. Probably two fifty. Yeah. So, so I mean, that's that's how I feel about that. I said we end the video there, guys. Let us know your yeah. thoughts down below in the comments. Like I said, we're going to be doing a more flushed out prediction video uh, sometime in the future. So hit subscribe if you're new to Deadball TV. Jump in the Discord. Link is in the description. If you want to talk about the results of this draw with the rest of the Deadball TV community, that is the best place to do it. Also, check out our social media links down below. Follow us on Twitter so you stay up to date with our live streams. Which, by the way, speaking of that, our 5K subscriber Q&A is next Friday at 6 p.m. Central Time. 
Again, it should be pinned to our Twitter, so you can find that in the description of this video. And I think the stream might also be live on the channel. Like, not live as in it's going on, but live as in you can see it's scheduled. I'll have to double check. But either way, Twitter is always the best place to stay up to date about our latest releases and what we're doing in the future. Um, if you're listening on streaming platforms, give the podcast a five-star rating. We need one more rating to get to 80 reviews. Please just somebody do it. Take your mom's phone. I don't care. Um, and yeah, share the podcast, share the channel with anybody that you think would love this type of content. Um, we appreciate you guys for the continued support that you show the channel and, uh, we will see you guys in the next one.